Good morning, everyone. Let's make us some coffee and head out to the porch for a conversation. There we go. Oh, that tastes so good. I'll meet you guys on the porch. All right, it is coffee on the porch time this morning. And I have my M&M cup with me today. It has been a very productive week. And there are no cats at home right now or I would show them to you. But it is cool out here and it is about 1030 in the morning. And I am really excited about today because we have a storm that's out in the Gulf if you don't re realize that. And I was kind of halfway expecting for me to wake up and there be storms, okay? But it hasn't happened yet. And so I'm keeping a close eye on it. And so what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to do something for myself today because it's been a couple of months since I've done it. And I'm gonna take myself and go get my, get a pedicure done. It really needs to be done. And I had to wait until I got a clear from the podiatrist after the surgery to go and then I gave it an extra couple of weeks after he said it's okay you can go um, I still gave it a couple of weeks just to make sure because I was still it was it's still painful a little bit but not nearly as bad as it was before and so I'm gonna head out and today and get my a pedicure done and so I will see you guys later on in the kitchen when I get ready to cook me something to eat. I'm not really hungry this morning. And so that's what I do is that I, I don't eat unless I'm hungry. And so uh, I will probably have my breakfast for lunch today. Now, let me think. Today is the, is the first day of the second week. So let's review what has happened over this last week. First of all, I've lost a little over seven pounds, I think. So that's about a pound a day. Some of it, much of it could have been water weight. I can tell the difference in the way my clothes fit already week one the second thing is that i have pushed myself into the state of ketosis and stayed there i felt it in my body when that happened the day it happened i had a suspicion that that's what was going on with my body because i could literally feel it i was having like tingling in my muscles and it was an interesting feeling. It, was it painful? No. Was it like muscle cramping? No. But it was a change. It was a change in my body and I felt it. Um, so I'm successfully into ketosis, which is where I wanted to be. And my blood sugars are registering pretty much the same without medication. Now I'm hoping that it's going to lower with time and that's what the doctor said is that he was afraid it was going to elevate once I got off medication and started this uh, new eating program he said it might elevate but it didn't do that it maintained and and I'm not having one day I had a sugar spike that alerted the um, the alert went to them and, and the alert on my phone says for me to contact my coach right away. And so I have not had any of those fights. 
okay? I know exactly what I did, all right? I know what I did, <laughs> okay? And so looking at those things and seeing what is spiking my sugar levels is, it's important to know what you're eating to cause those spikes. Mm -hmm. And so it's really good data too because I can look over long term and see um, exactly what's going on long term. And so anyway, I am really happy with the results for the first week. Um, I think I have done very well. Um, it, and the team thinks I've done very well for the first week. So I'm going to get around here and I'm going to head over and, and have a pedicure done. And I'll see you guys when I get back. I might even show you what it looks like. I'm not going to show you the before because my toenails are pretty long right now. And I don't like them getting this long. So I'm going to head over there and have them take care of this for me. Okay? All right, everyone. I am back from getting my... Um, feet done and they feel so much better and this is week two that I have chosen as my plan for this week and so I am getting the hang of things and I'm I have a third week that I can use on a plan and then the fourth week I want to do my own plan that's what I want to do on the fourth week. Now, the way that this one is done is, remember the other one had the total carbs and protein on this side over here. This one put it over here, which is pretty cool. So, this one is going to have 29 grams of carbs, and it's in my 30 grams, and it's going to have 14 ounces of protein, which is where I need to be okay it's within that range so we're gonna start off with two scrambled eggs cooked in one tablespoon of butter and two pork sausages so that's what I'm gonna and I like this one because it tells you how many grams carbs you have for each meal and how many proteins so here we go we're gonna do two scrambled eggs and two pieces of sausage. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get those two pieces of sausage. Remember those sausages that I cooked up? Well, I put them in the freezer, so I'm gonna get two out and scramble me up some eggs with it. So I have the two sausages in the skillet on a low heat. Because they're frozen, I want them to completely thaw. And as a matter of fact, hold on a minute. Let me, let me do this a different way. Let me turn that off. Get my plate out. I'm going. Hold on a minute. I'm going to use one of these for my breakfast this morning. Okay. And I'm going to put these sausages in the microwave. And bone like that. They're already cooked. I don't need to cook them. I just need to defrost them. So let me get them in the microwave. Put them in for 30 seconds. Y'all get to hear me piddle around my kitchen. We're going to get some butter out because it did say butter. And the eggs. And the two eggs. So it said two eggs scrambled in one tablespoon of butter. So let me get the butter first in the skillet and get it melting. So I cut off a little piece of this butter. Get it in the skillet. My 
my butter dish is clean because I ran the dishwasher last night. So while I'm here, I might as well go ahead and put this um, butter into the butter dish. Put the lid on it. I know that my blood sugar is probably a little low right now. And the reason is because I can feel myself shaking. So, but it's it's almost one o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't eaten, so all right, I'm getting the butter melted and coating the bottom of the skillet. There we go. It's coated. Hold on a minute, let me bring you in. Bringing you in over here. There we go. Two eggs. And go. I'm just going to, I'm just gonna pop them in the skillet today. to put, here's the pepper. Here's the salt. What did I do with the salt? Here it is. Okay. Then, I'm gonna pop the yolk just going to mix it up just like this and I'm good with scrambled eggs being that way and they're gonna taste wonderful with that butter I know they are let me get the eggs put away let me check on that sausage while you guys watch the eggs in the skillet. Make sure that they don't burn. Yell at me if it's burning. Let me see. All right, sausage needs to go another 30 seconds and it should be all right. Nope, oh, it didn't burn. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure these don't burn. Sausages are ready. into the bowl of those. And this, my friends, is what I'm gonna have for breakfast this morning. And it's 12, almost one o'clock, it's 12.45. So my first meal of the day, this is what it's gonna be. I'll see you guys when I start making the lunch. Good evening everyone. It is almost five o'clock in the evening and I haven't made it to my lunch yet. 
It's been one of those days where I wasn't hungry until about one o'clock in the afternoon, but I'm going to stick with my making sure that I get things done, you know, my testing done. And yeah, I've been kind of busy today. I did go get my pedicure done um, at the salon. But then I came home and I went, you know what? <sighs> Something that will make you feel even better is if you manicure your own nails. So I did that. I manicured my own nails. This is almost the same color as I did my feet. Now, is it perfect? No. But does it make me happy? Yes. So I got my nails done, okay? I did not get my nails done. I did my nails. <laughs> Let me clarify that. All right, I'm going to get everything out that I need. I need one of these. If you know, you know. I need a alcohol swab. I need one of each one of these test strips. I need to put this in here. Put your glasses on so you can see what you're doing. There we go. Put my lid on. I use a water bottle to um to put my shops in, sharps in all right that's done now the alcohol swab and it's funny because i just put lotion on my hands only to wipe it off with this alcohol swab Right. In goes the glucose first. Get that in there. And then, here we go. Oh. First test. Let's watch it together. One tin. Without medication, not bad. Not bad at all. Now let's do the ketones. Here we go. Okay, let's watch. Point nine. So I'm a fat burning machine now. As long as I stay over point five, I'm in good shape. So I'm happy with that. Now let me stop videoing with you guys. I'm deconstructing all this, putting everything in a safe spot. And let me get this to the doctor, my readings to the doctor. 
get everything put away. There we go. Everything is put away. I'll see you guys in a minute when I'm in the kitchen cooking my lunch. Hey everyone. Well, it's supposed to be a lettuce wrapped burger. But as you guys know, I'm going to flip this into a salad by using up the chopped up lettuce that I already have. Cups of lettuce. So we get this lettuce out. Two cups. I'm going to fill this is a two cup measuring cup. And it says, four ounce patty topped with melted Swiss cheese. I'm gonna do um, grated Swiss cheese, roasted mushrooms, a half a cup. We're gonna do one ounce of uh, Swiss cheese and roasted mushrooms. I'm just gonna put some mushrooms on there, a half a cup of mushrooms. And it says also, um, strips of bell cup pep bell pepper one cup served with one tablespoon of ranch dressing i'm going to cut up those bell peppers into this salad and i'm going to combine the mayonnaise and the ranch dressing and make it two tablespoons same ingredients doing it my way so we're going to need the bell peppers We're going to need the Swiss cheese. And the ranch dressing, but I'll get that out in a minute. Now, this particular, this particular uh, meal calls for one cup um, bell pepper strips. But what I'm going to do is, remember the fourth cup that they did when you cut it up? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the four cups. I mean the fourth of a cup. All right, there we go. We got that. And we decided, and we I showed you, that two strips of everything equals fourth of a cup. So we're going to do two strips of that one. Two strips of the red, uh oh, two strips of the orange, and two strips of the yellow. Now drop one on the floor. So we're gonna cut those up and add it in. And I do have to measure out the one ounce of cheese. That I do have to. Oh, and I need the mushrooms too. Let me get this up off the floor before I step on it. That's going in the trash. These are going to go into the refrigerator.
sorry, thought this weekend I'm placing on top of the egg cartons. Okay, I needed mushrooms. And the ranch dressing. So, it said, how much mushrooms did it say? A half a cup of roasted mushrooms. I'm just going to put, let me get out my measuring cup and do a half a cup. in here and we'll put half a cup of mushrooms in here. All right, there's your half a cup. Half a cup of mushrooms. Okay. I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna use these. Uh, these scissors are um, clean. I'm starting to just go ahead and wash everything that I use because I know I'm gonna need it on the next meal. So I'm just hand washing it. bringing you guys along while I'm doing this. It's just so much fun. I tell you, I'm making a mess here. Did y'all see that little piece of mushroom fly? I'm like, what? just happened. Okay, two orange. Let's do two red. And then the greens. All right, there we go. We got that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you over here and show you a trick that I learned. Let me get that mushroom off, off the floor so I don't step on it.
We're over here at the scale. I'm gonna place this on the scale. I'm gonna get my cheese. I'm gonna hit that scale. And I know you guys aren't seeing it, but it says zero. It's te teared out and I need one ounce of cheese. So, I'm going to keep putting cheese until I hit an ounce. We hit an ounce. So, there's the cheese that goes on it. We're back over here. This is the ranch dressing that I made yesterday. I need two tablespoons because it said one tablespoon of ranch dressing for the pepper strips and one tablespoon of mayonnaise. But I'm just going to use two tablespoons of this ranch dressing. One, see this is thick, this is really thick, and two, I want y'all to see the difference between the store-bought and the Verda Friendly. Ranch dressing. Mm. I'm not letting any of that go to waste. No, no, no. Hmm. I gotta put the burger on it. I was like, where's the meat? <laughs> Let me get the burger. going to crumble this up over the top and this is going to be my protein so remember I still have one more meal and a snack <laughs> that I haven't gotten to today And it's 5 o'clock in the evening, about 5.12. So, this was one of those hamburger patties that I cooked up earlier in the, in the week. Let me wash my hands here. And yeah, it was a hamburger patty I washed up earlier in the week. I made four of them ready for any way I need to use it for a hamburger. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be my lunch. I will see you guys when I get ready for my dinner sometime later on this evening. Good evening everyone. It is about 8 10 in the evening and I am not really hungry to cook dinner tonight. So I'm just gonna skip dinner and move on.
two. My snack. And what I'm going to have is a, what this says is for me to have one cheese, one ounce of pepperoni, and it says uh, one cup of cucumbers, but I don't, so I'm going to have some sweet peas instead of cucumber because I don't have any cucumbers. So this is what I'm going to have for my snack tonight. And I skipped dinner. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming in today and spending the day with me. I appreciate it more than you know. I'm going to be leaving some videos for you to go back and watch some playlists. If you have not already watched my videos before, I will encourage you to do so because it helps me out so much and it doesn't cost you anything to go back and watch my older videos and find out, you know, just who I am and where I was a year ago up till now. It really helps me and it helps you to understand who I am. I want each and every one of you to be blessed because you guys bless me each and every day. And I will see you guys on the next video.